Hi, I'm Eric with Pacific Performance Engineering. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of time and talk about our new twin turbo setup today. This one here is the 2006 Duramax, and uh, it's the LBZ engine. Normally it starts out at 365 horsepower, but in this application we've done a significant uh, modifications and we've pulled it all the way up to over 1200 horsepower. Uh, depending on the tune level, this can actually produce up to 1600 horsepower, and when that's installed in your vehicle, that puts about 1200 horsepower to the ground. To get all this horsepower going, it starts with the breathing of the engine. Uh, we've actually got a, a Garrett uh, twin turbo setup here. We've got a Garrett 55 here, and it's feeding through to the Garrett 42. Feeding the Garrett turbochargers, it starts with our exhaust manifolds. We just uh, came out with our new cast manifolds and our high flow up pipes. You'll see that there's a bellows here that allows the up pipes to uh, shrink and grow with heat so it keeps it from uh, stressing or cracking or anything like that and it's all held together with the ARP uh, hardware. Uh, new this year uh, we've come out with our heavy-duty uh, serpentine belt and this is uh, designed to, to last three times longer than the factory OEM belt. The exhaust system starts with our cast aluminum high flow manifolds. The exhaust travels through the manifold up to the through the up pipes to the pedestal base. From there, the exhaust goes to our high pressure turbo. It exits the high pressure turbo and makes its way to the low pressure turbo. Now this is a wastegated system where we, we can bypass any exhaust that's not needed through the wastegate system so nothing's wasted. All of the exhaust makes its way to the low pressure turbo. Then the exhaust comes out of the low pressure turbo and it makes its way to the back of the truck. For the intake, the air filter sits right up in the front here. You got the cool air intake going into the low pressure turbo where it compresses the air. It makes its way to the high pressure turbo where it compresses the air even further. The air exits the high pressure turbo and it typically will come across and enter the intercooler. The intercooler is normally mounted in the front of the engine here. It comes out of the intercooler the air makes its way compressed into the intake manifold, which goes directly into the engine. On the uh, fuel system, we've actually uh, installed a second uh, injection pump. It's called a CP3 injection pump. The factory pump is located in the center, and we're still using the factory pump. By adding the second pump here, we're able to maintain fuel pressure and fuel flow that helps us create this incredible horsepower.